Today I went out into my backyard and I recorded some videos of my chicken coop. The purpose of these videos was so that I could show you all how to take a video from your phone and upload it to your Google Drive. So I have all of these chicken videos and we're going to put them in my Media Arts Google Drive folder so that I can access them and maybe put them into a Google presentation or upload them to our Wii Video program or even submit them to Google Classroom. The first thing I need to do is find the Google Drive app on my phone. Click on that. I have a lot of folders in my Google Drive, so I'm going to search for my specific Media Arts folder. So I'm going to go into Media Arts, I'm going to go into Online Learning, which is where I put my folder, and then there it is, Lucas Dix Media Arts Period 11. I had you make a folder at the beginning of the semester, so you're going to find that folder. Then we're going to click on the plus sign. Once we're in that folder, we'll click on the plus sign. And we're going to go to the middle and click upload. Then we're going to click on photos and videos. Once I'm here, I'm going to go to where my videos and photos are in my phone. And I'm going to select the ones that I want to upload to my media arts folder. So I'm going to click upload once I've selected my videos. And now I'm going to wait for those photos and videos to upload into my Google Drive. It might take a little bit of time in order for this to happen. I have a pretty good internet speed at my house and this still took me probably about 10 or 15 minutes. So just be patient about this. But this is the way to get the videos and photos from your phone into that folder. Once they're uploaded, you can scroll through that folder and you can look at some of those videos. Just click on them. Some of the videos may work, like this one. And some of the videos may say video still processing. That just means you gotta give it a little bit more time. But now we have all of our videos and photos uploaded to our Media Arts folder and we can access them in any of the other programs we use.